Do you have any idea or is there any theory of how this works with, with depression, the mechanism? Well, thyroid hormone in the body affects uh, the, all the cells. It affects uh, the DNA of uh, the cells. Um, it could be that that's one of the mechanisms that it's affecting. Another mechanism could be the, ser the serotonin in the, in the brain. So, uh, and we know that many of the antidepressants, especially the SSRI, also affect the serotonin in the brain. And so it could be that we are interacting with the antidepressants. Is it known that thyroid hormone affects serotonin? There have been studies in rats um, where T3 was administered to the rat's brains. It was administered with an antidepressant on its own, and the antidepressant also was administered on its own. So we had two, three groups, the antidepressant plus T3, the T3 on its own, and the antidepressant. And the seroto serotonin level of the uh, group that were received T3 plus an antidepressant was highest in that group. So you do have a theoretical basis for it. That we it. are somehow affecting the, th yeah. the serotonin level. I didn't ask you this before, but I'm, I'm wondering as I think about it, w were the effects more likely to occur with women than men or anything like that? In prior studies, there was an indication that could be that women would respond more favorably to the T3. We did not find that gender-specific uh, response. And I know that um, thyroid uh, and, and people who are hyperthyroid tend to lose weight. Was there any weight changes in regard to the administration or the effectiveness of the thyroid hormone in, the, in your patient population? No, no more significant than the, the group that received placebo. Mm -hmm. Well, what's for the future? What, what do you think is going to uh, happen in this area in the future? Do you think, uh, do you have more research projects on the horizon related to this? Um, do you, how far do you think we are from uh, thyroid augmentation being part of uh, our regular treatment for depression? Well, we hope to um, uh, introduce thyroid or reintroduce the thyroid augmentation into our uh, uh, strategies of augmentation because there's so such few augmentation strategies. Uh, we need further study. There are other studies that did not find uh, the same results that we did, and so that the the, the more robust uh, uh, evidence we have, the the better we'll do. And we d definitely need to do more studies. We need to know what the right timing of the T3, uh, how long to treat with the T3, um, other other clinical questions also. Well, we'll be awaiting the results of your research, and I want to thank you again for joining us on ShrinkPod today. And um, I'm Dr. Michael Blumenfield wishing you a, a pleasant day. You have been listening to ShrinkPod, which has been coming to you from the campus of New York Medical College at the Behavioral Health Center of Westchester Medical Center in Valhalla, New York. This program is supported by a grant from the Sidney E. Frank Foundation. I'm Dr. Michael Blumenfield, wishing you a pleasant good day.